All right, Alex has a comment here. He says, regarding the last times, today I read that before the coming of the wicked, those who hold him must be removed, eliminated. In Thessalonians, he says, for the mystery of lawlessness is already at work, but the one who now restrains it will continue until he is taken out of the way. I believe it is the final apostasy, that is the union of religions denying the word of God, new world orders, or is there someone physical that prevents us from prevents this coming? How do you see it? Okay. Okay. So first of all, uh, I noticed you're quoting from a corrupt Bible. Okay. So you, you'll notice here in verse 7, it says, For the mystery of inequity does already work. Only he who now led us will let until he be taken out of the way. All right. So what you're quoting from is a corrupt Bible. So we need to get you the the true Bible, which is the King James Bible. So I need to uh, work more on that to show you that these uh, other Bibles are, all modern versions are corrupt Vatican versions. Okay, so we're talking about here uh, the Antichrist, and uh, you're reading uh, corrupt Bibles that are, dictated or mandated or what have you from the Vatican a Vatican approved perversions or what you call modern versions all right and you'll if you you know study this out and you'll see that these are Vatican approved Bible versions so if we do like this here so you'll see that uh, this word lawlessness is it's in the ESV it's in the NASB. It's in the NIV. Okay. Um, and it's in the NKJV. The New King James Bible is not a New King James Bible. Okay. It's, I mean, these guys are purposely trying to get you away from the King James Bible. That's their intent. Because the King James Bible is the true word of God. All right. So now let's go back and address this particular verse okay for the mystery of inequity does already work only he who now lets will let until he be taken out of the way and then shall the wicked be revealed whom the lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming even him whose coming is after the working of satan with all power and signs and lying wonders and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved and for this <clears throat> excuse me and for this cause God shall send them strong delusions that they should believe a lie that they all might be damned who believe not the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness so if I could this is uh, immediately after what we read the other day I do believe if I'm remembering correctly uh, where it says, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God, or that is worship, so that he, as God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. All right, so this <clears throat> is clearly talking about the Antichrist. I don't think anybody argues that. Now, like I talked about in the fourth beast video, where we the daniel he he identifies the first three beasts okay babylon medes and persians and greece the fourth beast has to be the roman empire the roman empire went down and transformed into a spiritual empire right and that's why the bible says the beast that was and is not and yet is okay so now that we're up to speed here this Antichrist, uh, which is the head of the Roman Catholic Church, does not gain power and influence upon the world if he, if there's not a falling away. So people are uh, more and more being uh, fooled 
by the Roman Catholic Church, more so now than ever before. That's what it means, this falling away, falling away from the truth and believing the lies, if you will, and uh, putting their trust in a man rather than Jesus Christ. All right. And <clears throat> and so uh, this is uh, described as the mystery of inequity. OK, so it was already in war. This is not a new thing. All right. So but this is also parallel to, uh, you know, let's let's find uh, let's find some parallels, if you will. Um, except those days should be shortened. There should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So we see a common theme uh, throughout all the Bible uh, that things are going to get progressively worse. And that's what Second Thessalonians 2 is talking about. Things are going to get progressively wor worse. And as they get worse, the more this guy is going to uh, be revealed, which is the Pope. And that's exactly what's happened. And it is happening. The pro you know, the, you got to understand the problem is the more people fall away and the more power the Pope gains, that also means... There are going to be fewer people who are going to be able to see him for who he is and be able to identify him as the Antichrist. He's clearly the most powerful man on earth today that walks, that walks on earth. He's the most powerful one. He has power over all the kings of the earth. All right, And he has his foot in every nation in the world. All right, There are Catholics in every country of the world. All right. And, um, and then also, uh, there's another parallel, uh, you know, um, because uh, there's a strong war against uh, Christians um, uh, continually. I mean, this is a continual war, and they probably think they're winning because they're gaining influence and power on a daily basis, really. And uh, here in Luke 18, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, shall he find faith on the earth. Okay, and this is another example of the decline of civilization, if you will. Right? So Jesus is asking, uh, you know, he's saying God's going to avenge them. But when, when I come back, am I going to find faith on earth? Think about the days of Noah. You know, Noah is another example of the decline of civilization <clears throat> okay so the, this was like a foreshadowing of what was going to happen to us as it was in the days of noah so shall it be in the coming of the son of man so things got progressively worse where there in my opinion were billions of people on the earth but only eight were saved and so this parallels that i tell you that uh, I, he will avenge them speedily Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, shall he find faith on earth? And this parallels Second Thessalonians 2 when it says that uh, there shall be a falling away. And of course, the more <clears throat> the world declines, the more power this man of sin uh, uh, obtains, right? So it's all a consistent theme all throughout the Bible. And uh, I, that's how I see it, and I'm not sure... I'm hoping I'm addressing every question you have. So, you're, uh, Alex, you're right when you say the union of religions, because as we read in Revelation 17, it, it, the Roman Catholic Church is called the mother of harlots, right? Mystery Babylon, the great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. So, the mother of prostitutes so all all these religions uh, you've heard that phrase all roads lead to Rome right so I mean you can you can tie Islam and Mormonism in with the Roman Catholic Church you can probably uh, find a path to of all these religions that lead back to Rome and um, anything that denies Jesus is the Christ is antichrist right so just stick with the bible stick with the king james bible thanks for your comment